Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. So in today's video, we will see that uh, we are getting one error, key tool error, Java language exception, keystroke file does not exist. And uh, with the same command, we are getting another error. Again, the Java language exception, but uh, alias does not exist. So guys, basically what I, what I was trying to do was, I was trying to connect my Android application with the Firebase. And uh, there I need to generate a SHA1 and SHA256 key. So I use this command. This you can get on the Firebase official documentation on Google Cloud or on the Google Cloud official documentation. You can find this uh, command. So I copied this command and pasted it in my command prompt and tried to generate a key, but I got this error. So let's see how to remove this. So first of all, what you need to do is you have to go to this particular location. So what you need to do is uh, go to the, this PC and local disk C then go to the users in the users you can find uh, uh, various users but uh, you can go to the particular in which you have the dot android folder so within this dot android folder here you can see that we have got one file called debug.keystore so what we need to do is we have to simply click on the address bar and uh, uh, press cmd so this will open the command prompt on this particular location then uh, you have to uh, copy this command either from the Google or I'll paste this command in the description. Now, when we uh, type this command, first of all, you need to check that that the spelling of that debug.keystore must be correct as here I got the spelling wrong. That's why it showed me the error. The keystore file does not exist. Second thing guys is whenever you are giving the alias, you can simply give any kind of name. What you have to do is you have to type this particular name and the name is Android debug key. So when you type this name and press enter, now it is asking for you the password. So guys, uh, if you are a beginner and you don't know what is SHA1, SHA256, then the default password for this is Android. So simply type Android and hit enter. Now, as soon as you hit enter, you will get both the SHA1 key and SHA2 key and all the information related to that. So guys, if you have any further doubt, then you can ask in the comment section, contact us on Instagram or on GitHub. And if this video was helpful for you, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button and like the video. Thank you.